Do you sometimes wonder how you can make your cake as spongy as a store-bought cake? Then wonder no more. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your cake extremely spongy, even more spongy than a store-bought cake. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and stay tuned. These are the ingredients to be used today, beginning with one cup of flour, one and a half cup of cornstarch, one teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon salt, and using no whisk, I will mix that together to get fully combined. Then in my mixing bowl, I will be adding egg whites from nine eggs half teaspoon vinegar and using a whisk attachment i will be mixing that for about 30 to 40 seconds once that is done i will be adding half of the one and a half cups of sugar this is going to run on about medium to high speed for about four minutes this is the consistency you want to get such that when you turn the bowl over nothing spills that is what you want once that is done i set that aside and in another bowl i'll be pouring in the rest of the sugar four and a half teaspoons of hot water you want the water to be very hot six teaspoons of vanilla extract nine egg yolks you can use a whisk as well as you can use a hand mixer to mix this but you want to do this for about four minutes too now i'll be adding six tablespoons of vegetable oil yeah you, this is the consistency you want to have you want it to have a thick consistency once i was done i poured in the mixture that had the egg whites I mixed it well to get fully combined and using a sieve I will be sieving the dry ingredients I mixed earlier using a whisk when you sieve it it adds to the airiness of the cake and makes it more spongy so this is what you really want to do once that is done I use a spatula to mix together until fully combined now I'll be adding the rest of the egg white mix and then I will be sieving the rest of the dry ingredients Sorry, I have a cold, so my voice is not the best. Please bear with me. Yeah. Once I was done saving, I continued using the spatula. Because at this point in time, you don't want to over mix, mix because the cake already is very airy. So you just want to use your spatula to mix everything until it's fully combined. You don't want such, you don't want to be in a situation where when you bake your cake and you want to cut it through, it has this big hole. So yeah, you want to use your spatula to mix everything. Now for the baking tins, make sure you just line it with parchment paper. That's all you need. Because again, this cake is different and very delicate. You don't want to grease the pan. You, all you need is your parchment paper to release the cake once it's baked. I am using a rectangular or a sheet tray as well as a loaf pan to bake this cake. Once I was done, the oven was set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I baked this cake for about 35 to 40 minutes or until when a toothpick inserted comes out dry 
Once that was done, I made sure I hit the baking pans to get rid of the air bubbles. You can watch to see how the air bubbles are coming out. I also took a knife to just play around with it to make sure I get rid of any big holes in my cake. This is the cake done. This is how it looks like after baking. Now I hit the cake the cake on the, the countertop to release the cake. Then I turned it over on a cooling rack and you let it sit for about an hour when the cake is completely cooled and it's ready to be released. If you've watched to this point and you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe or else I'm gonna cry. Thanks so much for listening. Again, this is the result of your cake. Here I am cutting through the cake. That is how the cake looks like. Extremely spongy. And extremely soft. Yeah, just watch as I do this. Watch as I play with the cake. To all my returning subscribers, thanks so much for coming. Thanks so much for watching to this point. And if you're new to, the, to this channel, you're very much welcome. Please do me well to subscribe and let's continue to grow the channel. So this is just a demonstration of how I played around with the cake after it was baked. I used a knife to release the cake from the sides. Yeah, you do this because you don't want the cake to fall or to drop after it's been baked. Remember, this cake is pretty much a very spongy cake. So if you grease the pan, it's going to make the cake to fall once it's baked because it's very airy. So <clears throat> once I use the knife to release the cake from the sides, it was easy to come out came out so clean and so perfect because a sponge cake is very spongy and also dry because it doesn't have a lot of butter in layering this cake you want to make sure you use either a sweet syrup or something to keep the cake moist if you missed last week's video please check the link above to watch how I made this amazing meat pie it tastes so yummy and you're going to love it thanks so much for watching don't forget life can get bitter eat cake to make it sweet until next week bye